Right, okay guys, so as the title suggests, this is the mother of all pickups. Um, yeah, this is, I'm going to try and cut it down a bit because there's quite a bit to fit in here, so I'm going to try and simplify it a little bit. Uh, yeah, I had a really good result with this, um, I don't know how you put it, lot, bundle, I suppose. I bought it all together, so it was from a charity shop. Um, yeah, so let's jump into it because otherwise this video is going to be pretty long. So I am doing it, I'm just going to add, I am doing this in the front room because my son is playing some game with his mates online and he's very loud. So I'm not even going to attempt it in the gaming room. That would be pointless. So, and also because of the amount of stuff here. So it's just easier to do it in the front room. There's more room. So, right. Okay. So let's kick this off. So number one. We have a boxed PlayStation DualShock. However, there is a slight problem with it. Uh, there is no power cord. There is no controller. So I can't really test this out at the moment. I probably could test out using the PS4 cable because I'm pretty sure it's the same cable. But still, I haven't got PS1 or PlayStation 1 controller, so I can't really test it properly. But yeah, so that's the first thing. So. And you might be thinking, well, you know, them bits are quite cheap to pick up, which they are. So, uh, but yeah, we'll get on to that and, or, you know, I'll get on to that and pick up the necessaries for it. But yeah, this is the first part, PlayStation. Then we have this. Now, this is very impressive. Yep, it's the Mega Drive. Uh, it does say there includes Sonic the Hedgehog. The only thing that isn't in here is Sonic the Hedgehog and there is a controller missing. Now, I've got other controllers. And as you know, I've already got a Mega Drive, and I'm just going to show you the box, because it's in fantastic condition, considering how old this is. Now, this is in a lot better condition than the one that the wife bought me for Christmas, so I am going to be keeping this one, and then I'll move that other one on. So, yeah, this is very nice. Like I never thought I'd see one of these boxed in a charity shop, so I'm really happy with this. So, yeah, it's great. <laughs> so... I'd like to say, I'll give you the price at the end because this is all together. Right, now this is the big one. And it is big in size too. And that is, and there's some weight to this, a Commodore 64. Now it's a bit hard to try and show you it because this box is massive. So I'm going to try and turn it and hopefully you can see this. There is a slight little bit of damage, there's a little mark just there. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's all good. Oh, so big this box. But yeah, it's in great condition when you consider how old this is. Right, now, I've gone through the box. The games aren't in there, because according to this, it should include a few games. They're not in there. However, everything else is. Um, the two joysticks, I'll just show you actually, because it should be a picture Look, on the front there. Two joysticks are there, the tape deck's there, the computer itself is there. Um, and obviously the power unit's there. But, can't test it out, because as we all know, the power units on these things are Commodore killers. You know, if you risk plugging that in, chances are you're going to blow it up. So I'm going to have to buy a third party one. They're not particularly cheap. I mean, you're probably talking about 40 quid for one of them. But yeah, I'll have to pick one of them up before I can test it. Also, the reason I say that is because I noticed when I looked at the keyboard, there is a bit of yellowing because it's the Commodore 64C. Uh, there is a bit of yellowing, which you expect from these old machines, if I'm honest. But also, I noticed there was a slight sort of bend in the case. And when I looked, the screw, the first, you know, the main screw you take out that used to break the warranty on these things, it's missing, which means that someone's been in this. So yeah, I'm going to have to get a screw in there, but I'm also going to have to test this out to make sure it works. So, a bit of a risk I know, but when you find out how much I paid for all this lot, I think you'd agree the risk was worth taking. Right, and then there's a shed load of games. Uh, I'm trying to decide which ones to show first, because there's so many. So, International Tennis, Hit Squad Afterburner, Joe Blade 2, don't know if you can see that yet, a bit of glare off the light. Camelot Warriors, Grand Prix Simulator, Popeye 
two. You always have these like quattro ones, like you always see these ones. If I remember right, they were always quite terrible games as well in my memory. Either that or they didn't work. That was the other thing I used to find. Werewolves of London. And one thing I will say, the person who obviously dropped this in at the charity shop really took good care of this. These. This is Silkworm, classic. Now this is one that I was planning to get if I got a Commodore 64, and that's Rainbow Islands. Really random one, Wembley Greyhounds. I'm not sure why that's there. Um, Bomb Fusion. Classic gunship for the kicks. And we're still going, guys, because there's a lot of these. <laughs> Stunt Car Racer. Silent Service. Obviously both kicks. Bismarck. Don't know what that is. Never played it. BMX Simulator. I remember that one. Now this is the one I was really happy about. Commando, because anybody who knows anything, this game goes for quite a bit, if you can find it. So I'm happy that came with it. Commodore 64 um, introductory tape, so that's there, it's an audio though. Uh, then we've got Friday the 13th. Golden Axe. Arnie, which I'm guessing is based around Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'm not sure though. Another hit squad, Le Mans, F-15 Strike Eagle, Super Monaco, now that one I remember, a lot of nostalgia for that. Then we've got a load of, oh hang on, before I do them ones, we have also got F-16 Combat Pilot and Ace 2, remember that one as well. Right, and then we've got a load of magazine tapes, uh, Commodore Power, Ooh, nearly dropped that Commodore format and then we've got a load of Commodore format power pack in the hard case Ooh, a bit of glare there. some of these used to come with um, some fairly good games on as well I mean the majority of them were demos but you used to find it would have at least one game on it and then that one so that's them I'm trying to sort of whiz through them guys because I've got so many here Otherwise, this video would be like 25 minutes long. A Bard's Tale. Batman. That one I was very happy to see as well. I do remember that one as a kid. Scramble Spirits. I'm sure I've heard of that one before. HKM. That sounds familiar as well. And then we've got some boxed ones. Ed the Duck, <laughs> Ed the Duck, eh? God, that brings back some memories. Turrican 2, great, I was really happy to see this one too. Turtles the Coin Up, which of course is nothing like the actual Coin Up, but happy to have it nonetheless. Then we got that terrible port that the NES did. <laughs> Pit Fighter, another one that's not a great game. And then this one that's notorious for being bad, The Simpsons, um, Attack of the Space Mutants or whatever it is. Bart versus the Space Mutants, yeah. So so that's all of it. Right, okay guys, so I just want to add this little bit in because I forgot something. Uh, out of that bundle I bought, in with the games, was another item. And I'd already taken it out and put it in the games room, so I forgot to mention it. So just wanted to add this in. And that is Afterburner. Uh, this this is still working as well works really well put some batteries in sound and everything's perfect on it So that was a nice little find as well because I mean these days these things are creeping up in value So, you know, it's nice to get one cheap because if I'm honest I didn't want to pay what they're asking for them these days. So yeah Nice little uh, I believe it's a is it Grandstand. Yeah grandstand. So, you know good quality as well. So so yeah, I just wanted to add that in there quick because I forgot to mention it. So this was in, in the bundle of the 70 quid. So did all right, yeah. yeah. Anyway, back to me. Like I say, I've whizzed for it because if I'm honest, if I had took everything out of the box and showed you the condition and all that, lot, like, I'm in this video, like I say, it'd be half hour long. So, so I wanted to try and keep it short and sweet. Uh, right, so the thing that you're probably wondering is what, how much was all this? Right, okay, brace yourself, guys. I got all of this for £70. And no, you're not hearing anything. There's no one in front of it. £70. 
which is a bargain. I mean, you know, a box Mega Drive, you've got to be looking about 50 quid minimum. Um, the Commodore 64, I mean, like I say, we don't know it's working, but if you did get a working one in a box like this, you are talking about £140 at the least. So, not to mention all the games and then obviously the PlayStation. And the PlayStation, although the power lead and the um, controller's missing, that has got to be one of the cleanest PlayStations I've seen in a long time. It is absolutely spotless. There's not a mark on it. So, yeah, and I'm not sure, but I've got a feeling it might have even had a laser replacement in it. So, could be a new laser sitting in there. did look like it was a new one. So, so yeah, done really well here. Um, definitely a bargain. Um, yeah, I couldn't be happier with that. So, what a great find, eh? I mean, it's not like you find the Commodore 64s in charity shops anyway, let alone in a box and all these others as well. I mean, that Mega Drive is in that good condition. I'm actually definitely going to keep the box one and then sell the one that I got at Christmas because this one is in such, so much of a better condition. There's only like, like one slight mark on it on the side, little tiny scuff, but other than that, it's spotless. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, so... That's the end of the video, guys. Now, let, let me know in the comments below. I mean, I, I know this is a good deal, but let me know if you've had any deals like this, because I'd like to know, especially if you've found any Commodore 64s. Like, let me know how much you've got them for, because I, I think that this whole lot was a bargain. So, but yeah, talk to us in the comments. It'd be interesting to find out what you found, etc. Right, I'm going to leave that one there, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, take care, stay safe. Nerdy geezer out.